looking for signs of financial recovery found only more anxiety today. After yesterday's stock market surge, both the TSX and the Dow Jones plummeted by more than 600 and 800 points respectively. Now bankers are telling us all it's going to take time. More bad news about the economy sent the Dow to its second largest point decline ever Wednesday. Call it a bailout, call it a rescue plan. Either way, there is now evidence that the $700 billion approved by Congress, plus the trillions committed around the world, will not be enough to prevent a global recession. Stabilization of the financial markets is a critical first step. But even if they stabilize, as we hope they will, broader economic recovery will not happen right away. Today, the Federal Reserve reported what most already suspected. Both consumer spending and manufacturing have slowed dramatically across the country. On Wall Street, shares sank almost 600 points before the Dow closed, down over 730 points on worries that a full recovery will take longer than hoped. It was promising this week that the stock market did have a surge, um, but I think it's still a very uncertain time. Tuesday, the Treasury Department announced it would inject $250 billion into approved banks in order to get them lending again. Had we not acted decisively uh, at the time we did, the credit crunch would have affected the, the working people the small businesses of America. To drive home that point, President Bush traveled to western Michigan to reassure small business owners that it was the right move, thank, considering uh, the circumstances. I frankly don't want the government, you know, being involved with businesses, owning businesses. Uh, it's not, I don't think it's good for the country. I, it was necessary that the stock be purchased to help us through this financial crisis. Speaking of crises, the winds die back.